Hi, Dr. Harrison Vaughn here, Cervicogenic Dizziness Instructor for Integrative Clinical Concepts. Now, a lot of times when we talk about uh, professions who might benefit someone with cervicogenic dizziness, we're really looking at the chiropractic, um, the acupuncturist, and also the physiotherapist. But really, you know, if we really want to go back in history and even look at some of uh, the techniques that both of these professions, chiropractic and physical therapy, learn from in terms of just general manual therapy, you have to look in the osteopathic literature. And uh, this blog right here really just brings out several of the case reports, a case series over the years of can osteopathic manipulative or manual therapy improve somebody with vertigo or cervicogenic dizziness and really it comes into 2010 with uh, Frey's work and then up until Papa's work and his colleagues in 2017 and looking actually some randomized control trials um, and a little bit improvement in the paper trail and the research, the higher level research that's associated with what we need as prudence in order to uh, not only diagnose someone who has this condition, but also provide some treatments and effective treatments at that. So I would say, yes, it's very safe and very effective to provide some sort of osteopathic manual therapies. I am a physical therapist, not an osteopathic physician, so I just want you to be aware of that, but also just want to make sure that uh, we always read other people's works and go outside of physical therapy literature and look into some of these other professions who look at things just a little bit different and we can learn from it. And really in our cervicogenic dizziness class, we provide a lot of this evidence and a lot of discussions associated with it and just realize where we are within our scope and how we can provide manual therapies, but also within the physio blend that we typically approach to give us that best of the best that I feel like we can do. We look into some of the pain relieving exercises, and we also look into some of the sensorimotor training that can help give us a little bit longer relief and some home exercises for the individual. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the blog, and feel free to read it in the comments below.